Today, we'll be discussing the recent developments in Manipur and the emergence of a new golden triangle along the Indo-Myanmar borderland, which is causing significant concerns at both the regional and international levels. The United Nations Human Rights Council session, our story begins at the 54th United Nations Human Rights Council session held in Geneva on September 18. During this session, Kuraija Mathuba, the Vice President of the International Peace and Social Advancement, IPSA, and spokesperson of the Coordinating Committee on Manipur Integrity, Kokomi, made a significant statement during an interactive dialogue with independent experts on the promotion of a democratic and equitable international order. The crisis in Manipur, the World Evangelical Alliance, on behalf of a coalition of NGOs, hosted a side event at the UNHRC entitled The Crisis in Manipur and Implications for Human Rights in India. Athuba played a crucial role in shedding light on various issues plaguing the region, particularly the problems of drug trade and mass deforestation for illegal poppy cultivation in the Indo-Myanmar border region, including Manipur. The emergence of a new golden triangle One of the most alarming revelations made by Athuba during his address was the emergence of a new golden triangle along the Indo-Myanmar borderland. This development has destabilized the security of the region and endangered the lives of indigenous people. The illicit drug trade network and massive deforestation for illegal cultivation of poppy have significantly jeopardized regional stability and the well-being of young indigenous individuals. The impact on youth and the environment the drug problem in this region has deprived the youth of opportunities and participation in decision-making processes, exacerbating the challenges faced by the local population. Moreover, the environmental degradation caused by mass deforestation and unemployment adds to the growing concerns. The call for a unified response Athuba made a fervent call to expert delegations at the UNHRC, stressing the need for a united response at local, national, and international levels. This response should not only aim to contain narco-terrorism but also address the environmental degradation, unemployment, and promote non-violent democratic values in an equitable international order. Meanwhile, the IPSA announced that Kuraija Mathuba will be participating in several sessions at the UNHRC to shed more light on the Manipur violence, its roots in narco-terrorism, and the emergence of the new Golden Triangle in the Indo-Myanmar borderland region. Athuba and his team are diligently planning a side event within the UN campus during the ongoing session to draw the attention of various international forums and participants. In conclusion, the situation in Manipur and the emergence of the new Golden Triangle along the Indo-Myanmar borderland are critical issues that require immediate attention and unified action. Kuraija Mathuba's efforts at the United Nations Human Rights Council session serve as a beacon of hope, aiming to bring about positive change in the region. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing situation, and let's hope for a brighter and more stable future for Manipur and its people.